Greetings everyone, Todd and Javi here in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, and we wanted to share with you a little adventure we've been on lately. We decided to make a stone cantera fountain for the home that we purchased here in San Miguel. So we started looking around and at the different stone masons and their work, and we didn't see a lot of examples of their work until we found this place and we met Zeferino. Oh, no, no, no. When you walk around Zeferino's place, it's like walking around an art gallery. He has hundreds of pieces here that he's been making over the years that, of course, are all for sale. We brought him to our home to show him our ideas, and it turned out that 12 years ago, he had actually made both the fireplace and the fountain in our current home. And that's when we really knew that we were on the right track. So once we found the stonemason that we wanted to work with, we still had to design the fountain. This is something I hadn't really planned on. Somehow I thought we would like go shopping for fountains, but no, they're artists. They make what you want to make. So uh, I took inspiration. We took inspiration from some of the places we visited around San Miguel. There's the Capilla in Viejo San Miguel, where the original San Miguel was located. And we just really like the angels that they had above the door there. They're wearing their little boots like the conquistadors. And although they had a crown in their hands for uh, you know, the savior, uh, we wanted them instead to put a, uh, the symbol of San Miguel de Allende, which is the corazón, symbolizing that San Miguel de Allende is known as the heart of Mexico, both geographically and culturally. As far as the size of the fountain, I had seen just some wonderful uh, cantera uh, images of really plants and flowers at uh, an abandoned church with frescoes that I made a video of earlier. And so we gave uh, images of that work to, uh, to the stonemason. And then for the fountain itself, we really combined a couple of Mexican images. One is the Aztec jaguar, uh, Quahixicali, and the other is the feathered serpent, uh, Quetzalcoatl, which is, you know, has the feathers of the Quetzal bird basically around as a, almost like a, a necklace crown. We would stop by at Zeferino's place every once in a while to see the progress that he would make and we get to see all the little pieces as he was doing them. All of these were custom pieces. This rock actually became the base of our fountain. And we just got to watch the whole process unfold. After about a month going back and forth, we finally had the stone delivered to our home. <laughs> All right, Javi, they're finally laying the first stones. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's, it's nice to see finally coming the whole project together. So I'm curious how it's going to... What is the plan of today? Resanar todo. Resanar todo, entonces. Sí, oye, todo detallar. Todo bonito. Sí, ya, ya te tengo ahí los, los azulejos. Mm. Seferino Bustamante Estrada. ¿Y qué es su trabajo? Cantera. Entonces, ¿cu ¿por cuántos años has trabajado en esto? Por más o menos 40 años. 40 años. ¿Y lo qué es lo que gusta sobre pues, trabajar en esta forma? Pues me gusta más lo, lo, la talla. Si no me las compran, pues ni modo. 
Uh, entonces, como es tu pues, galería de arte, más o menos. Sí, y... más o menos. Sí. <risa> sí. Eso, me gusta hacerlo. Uh -huh. Me gusta trabajar en eso. Todo mi tiempo lo dedico a eso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Todo el tiempo para 40 años. Sí. Es mucho. Sí. Y pues, ¿cómo aprendiste a hacer todo eso? Manualmente, con más maestros. Mm, posiblemente el mejor trabajo es lo que sigue. Sí. No sé, ahorita, no, no sé cuál haya sido mi mejor trabajo en todo mi, uh, mi tra tiempo que he trabajado. Pues muchísimas gracias, muchísimas gracias para, pues, tu, para tu trabajo, para tu obra, para tu arte, para tu inspiración. Realmente es súper bonita y pues estoy seguro que va a estar aquí por, no sé, <ríe> por tanto años. tiempo, 100 años, sí. <ríe> si el casa sigue, sí, pues el arte también. Uh -huh. Muchísimas gracias. Sí. Of course, when Zeferino finished his work, we still had a long ways to go. Uh, there were so many people involved in this project, and our next step really, um, you know, we had to get a plumber, an electrician to Uh, run wires and uh, plumbing there and then we had to pick the tile and find a tile setter and have the entire fountain tiled and uh, yeah it just it just kept going it, in all this project took us about mm, five months or so uh, but we're really happy with the result and Uh, I didn't want to finish the video until we painted the house as well, <laughs> so that added even more time. But we think it looks incredibly beautiful, and uh, we hope you like it. We hope that you've enjoyed coming along this really five-month journey with us. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe, and we'll send you more about our life exploring San Miguel de Allende.